in this lecture we are going to learn about arrays okay arrays and pointers so you will think that how is pointer and array related but actually pointers and arrays are very much related so let's try to see how they are related what we will do is we will start gradually so first we define an integer array called num okay which will consist of 10 elements so one thing that we should note is array stores numbers or integers whatever elements are there it stores them contiguously which means they are all contiguous or one by one they are all packed together in the memory so when we have this 3, 5, 7, 9 and all those elements, so we have 10 elements. So first what we do is try to find size of an int. And for my computer, if you see, so it is basically four memory locations or four bytes of memories are there for representing an int. Now what I do is first just to get an idea, I print out all the numbers and each element and their address where they are located then i try to start store the base location of the array using iptr okay and the base location will be what the starting point of the array which will be of course ampersand num zero so this is the starting address because the starting element is num zero so its address will be of course ampersand num zero then we try to do something else in star iptr2 is num so this is a pointer and we are doing something here is just a variable name of array so what is happening here i will see we will see in fact and then we will try to print these values so after this what we will do is we will try out some pointer arithmetic okay so that will be our idea so we will try out some pointer arithmetic so let's say we have a pointer which stores the address of num plus 5 or basically that we will see is ampersand num 5 then we will do some pointer arithmetic to find what is done by temp minus 1 temp plus 2 temp plus 10 etc okay so these we will try to see so let's try out with the code itself we build this code and let's try out so the size of int on my computer is 4 address of the 0th element is so let's just see the last three values or in fact two so 10 is the first one and its value is 3 then the next location shifts to 14 so this shows that okay so 4 is that 4 memory locations of, are used for mm -hmm. storing my int so it becomes f14 then f18 is for the third one f1c so you add 4 to 8 in hexadecimal it becomes c then we have 1c then 20 it becomes 2428 then again 2c 3034 so we see there is an increment of 4 for each memory locations so one thing again it confirms that pointers even if they require more than one memory location your pointer will give the starting memory location for storage of the number so this is done now starting address of the array is 28 ff10 which is same as here this one and another way what i tried was if you see here so i tried was iptr2 is num so this also works starting address of array is num if i give that also prints the same so ampersand num0 and num they are both represent the starting address of that single dimensional array address of the fifth element is now 28 ff24 from here the fifth element is again 28 ff24 this is fine now i do minus one to the array so now you see if you do on a pointer so when i am doing the fourth element it becomes two zero so there is 
if I do minus 1 on an integer pointer, it will decrement the memory location by 4, which is the size of the integer. Again, the size of 7th element, so I add to that pointer temp plus 2. So now you see it is 28FF2C, the 7th element here, 28FF2C. Similarly, address of the 15th element. So now if you see, this is something which is not correct because my array size is 10, but I am finding the 15th element. So pointer arithmetic will still work from the 5th element that is 28FF24. It will now add 10, which is 40 to it. And it is 28FF4C. So this will show you the address, but actually array, it's out of bound. So this is the idea. So just to summarize, in array, what you can do is you can have the pointer arithmetic. So that is allowed. So we can do if a pointer is temp is some variable, then you can do temp plus two, temp plus some integer you can do minus you can do temp minus three. But you should remember that these should temp plus minus i whereas an integer should not be out of bound for the array okay so it should be in the limits of that array so computer in fact the compiler will not give you any warning and it will overwrite whatever is written there so you should be very careful about this thing so this is there so now we understand so array and pointers why they are friends because if you see here, I had made one picture also. So let's try to see. So this is your array. Okay, so we have elements like my array is starting here. 1, 0, 1, 2. And I have written in decimal because hexadecimal, it's difficult for me to add. Okay, so let's say this is 3, 7, 12, 14, 9, and 6. So I have 6 elements. These are the memory locations. And let's say this is int num six which is equal to three seven twelve fourteen nine and six so this is how my computer allocated memory to this which it has just a small memory here and now one zero one two is the starting address so it's num zero will be one zero one two num will also be equal to one zero one two so the name of an array is the starting memory location okay and then if i have temp int start temp pointing here then if you do temp plus two it will come to this place and so on so this pointer arithmetic is there so i hope you understand the array and pointers okay so thanks a lot